Two years after the birth of the New Republic, the Empire was still the galaxy's dominant government. Despite the rise of rogue warlords, Imperials held a majority of settled planets and had a stranglehold on the important core worlds. Without an aggressive military push, the New Republic would never bring about an end to the Galactic Civil War. The most effective way to destroy the Empire would be to capture Coruscant, the universal symbol of governmental power and authority. To that end, the New Republic began seizing planets in Imperial territory. As part of the mobilization, Wedge Antilles was recalled from a propaganda tour and restored to active duty. His legendary X-Wing unit, Rogue Squadron, was reformed with a roster of new pilots. Rogue Squadron was sent undercover into Coruscant's Imperial City to sabotage the planet's shield generator. At the same time, 16 of the galaxy's worst criminals were freed from the spice mines of Kessel and let loose on Coruscant in the hope that they would foster chaos. The freed criminals resurrected directed the defunct Black Sun criminal cartel which would plague the New Republic in later years. Rogue Squadron's operatives collapsed the shields and Admiral Akbar leapt into the system with a full armada. The battle was intense but victory came surprisingly easy. Akbar wiped out all resistance and at last Coruscant was in the hands of the New Republic. Subscribe and follow for more Star Wars content.